Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you a little bit more about Sublime Text. Today, we're going to go over color schemes. So when you loaded up your Sublime Text 2, maybe it didn't look just like this. Um, that's because I have this color scheme um, installed. I actually forget the name. I think it's uh, Monokai, and uh, I really like it. it. The colors are really nice. It sort of sticks out, I think, in any uh, sort of language I'm writing in, whether it's CSS or whatever. It's going to look good. So that's what I like in a color scheme. However, um, everybody has different preferences. And that's why it's great that Sublime Text 2 allows you to use color schemes that were made for uh, TextMate. So if you have TextMate installed, uh, chances are you will have all of your TextMate color schemes available to you as well from the start. So to find your color schemes, you just click on the Sublime Text 2 in the menu here. Uh, for Windows, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not quite sure exactly how you do this on Windows. I've never uh, used Sublime Text 2 for Windows. However, uh, you're going to go to Preferences, and then you'll just notice this Color Scheme option, and here's all of the different options that I have by default. Many of these uh, I might have installed myself. Uh, you know, I just can't remember at this point which ones came with and which ones did not. But let's pick Space Cadet. I don't really know what this one looks like. So you can see it's a little bit darker of a theme, uh, and, and some people might really, really enjoy this. Personally, this one's not for me, so I would probably be moving on to try another one. But the great part is, is it's really easy to just go through and try one. You can use it for a couple hours, and if you like it, you do, and if you don't, it's pretty obvious quickly if you like it or not. Um, I like these dark themes. There's also lighter themes with uh, a light background. Um, I'm not exactly sure which ones I have. Yeah, it looks like this is one of them. To me, this is a little too bright for my eyes. But, uh, so, we have these ones that are built in. You can change it. Well, what happens if you want to get more? Well, uh, luckily, the internet is provided with all sorts of opportunities to get more. In fact, just by searching Sublime Text 2 color schemes, you'll find all sorts of stuff. Or even searching TextMate color schemes, you'll find a ton because people have made a bunch. Well, luckily, they're really easy to install. So here I have a GitHub page, um, and that's uh, GitHub slash D-A-Y-L-E-R-E-E-S slash color schemes. And here is a whole bunch of color schemes, and you'll notice, check it out, there's some really good ones in here. Uh, either way, there's all sorts of different ones. Uh, it's pretty nice. It'll allow for a bunch of different opportunities here. In fact, one of these I'm using on my uh, theme at my office pretty much constantly now and I really have been getting used to it. So how do you get these into Sublime Text? Well, it's nice and easy. Uh, luckily, they have not made it very difficult for you at all. However, Apple has made it not super easy for you to get to your library folder uh, in later versions of the OS X operating system. As you can see, I see hidden folders and files. So my library folder, which has been hidden by default as of Lion and Mountain Lion, uh, I can get to it. However, you might not be able to get to yours if you go to your finder and your username. So to get there, you can go to go, go to folders, and you can type in tilde slash and then library. Go. And it's going to take you to the same spot. In fact, let's close this window and have a new window take me there just so you can see it in action. Go to folder. Um, and tilde slash library. All right, I'm in. Cool. So here we need to go to application support, and then you'll want to find Sublime Text 2, and then packages. So you'll notice there's all these packages in here, all these folders. There's some themes. Well, we don't have to do anything other than put these themes inside of this packages folder. So let's go ahead and download these from uh, this GitHub page. You can use it using command line, or you can just click this download zip button and you'll be getting that downloaded. Okay, so I have all these color schemes, I have my packages, time to put them in. Uh, it's gonna want me, okay, so I'm just gonna select these, I'm gonna throw these in here. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay, 
And now that these are in here, we're going to go to our Sublime Text. And now I'm going to check out Preferences, Color Schemes, and uh, you could see all of these different ones in here. And then there's Color Scheme Default. These are the ones that we added just now. So let's pick out one I like. I think I liked Peacock from their preview. Turn that on, it looks great. In fact, here's what a CSS looks like using this Peacock one. Uh, looks like highlighting is nice and prominent. Um, here's HTML, here's a JSON file. Um, so yeah, so I'd like to, I think I would like to keep this color scheme for a little bit. In fact, I, I really like this one. Okay, so this is color schemes, changing them, getting new ones in Sublime Text 2. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching. Bye.